Hi everyone, I'm Sindre9 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Off screen I went back and bought some shurikens for Edge. And you see, he got a level up and I think just about everybody got a level up. Or a few people did. No new spells or anything like that learned, so let's move on. Tower Babel, Floor 1. How can we enter the tower? Heh, <laughs> you forget you're with a ninja. Here we go! Needless to say, make sure you're prepared before you go into the tower. <laughs> As you're not getting out easily. Preemptive strike! Oh, forgot I had auto battle on. <laughs> I turned on auto battle while I was uh, running uh, back and forth from town. <laughs> Prayer and answered. Oh, that's a shame. Twenty-one percent chance of success. Ah, oh, unicorn horn. Good. Counterattack. Are you weak to anything in particular? No. Alright. Main thing is, I don't want the uh, counter slap. Counterattack. There's Cecil with that ridiculous amount of HP again. I wonder what's up with that. That puts you in killing range. I should have Kane attack. It doesn't matter if he gets silenced. Dia levels up. One to everything. Awesome. And she learned break, which uh, turns an enemy into stone. And another unicorn horn. As I'll show here. Turn target to stone. Uh, if it works, the enemy is dead. It will instantly kill the enemy because uh, they don't have a way to heal that status effect. <laughs> Unlike uh, you and your party. Okay. If Rubicon is guarding the tower, what if Golbez? That's a good question. Nujitsu, it seems similar to black magic, yet somehow different. Who are these people? No ordinary folk, that's for sure. I see Rubicon has prepared his defense as well. He can just pass through solid walls? Just what is this Nujitsu of his? Ninja Arts! <laughs> Pretty legit to me. If only you could do that outside of, you know, scripted scenes so I could get through this place easier. Oh well. <laughs> A pretty straightforward path. Now, Rosa. Let's see what's going on. Preferably before they all die from counterattack. That would be nice. Alright. Not weak to anything, but only a little over 2,000 HP. Hit. Good. Got the paralyzed. That's what I wanted. Steal? No, I mean, the steel chance is so low. I remember Edge not having that much problem stealing. I don't know if they just really made it hard to steal in this version, or maybe I need to get him some special type of uh, item to this version. I don't know. It's typically not that hard to steal. Oh, rune staff. Really? Really? 
RuneStaff may inflict uh, the silent status. While it takes away Rose's bow, it does give her quite the boost to spirit, which affects her white magic spells. Uh, affects healing. That's tempting, honestly. I think I'll do that. I think I've shown off the bow a pretty good deal. I think it's just neat that she can use a bow. What do we have over here? Actually, we'll have King jump. Oh, blaster! Please don't insta kill. No effect. Okay. Die. Die now. And you know, I've gone over Blaster before, but uh, th this is... Since it's a enemy later, you'll see that insta-kill more often. Oh, I missed. There it is again. Not that I'm saying I mind, but I'd love to know why sometimes Cecil has double the HP in a fight. Just out of curiosity, I'd love to know. And just level increased. Good. That's what I thought, treasure chest. And basement one map complete, five bomb fragments. Alright. Uh, silver hourglass. Now let's go through the door. Basement 2. Let's... Yeah, that's what I thought. Hi! Counterattack. These are mad ogres. Blaster, please don't insta-kill. No, I've said that before. Good. Pray and... 21% chance of success. As you see, the mad ogres have almost 7,000 HP. These are upgraded versions from the ogres we saw way back in the Lodestone Cave. A lot of HP. Hit pretty hard, although they're not going to do a ton to Cecil. And that's really all they got. No other special tricks. Steal. Go ahead and steal. Expect to see that a lot with this low chance of success on steal. I mean, I really don't know what's up with that. Oh, that one's dead, so we'll steal from the other one. And steal. Nothing. Oh, well, it's really not that big of a loss. I mean, it's free stuff anyway. And if you can get a paralyzation like this from, uh, from Rodeo's whip, you can just steal. You can just keep trying to steal if you really want to. I'd like to steal from each enemy once just so you all can see what they have. But with that low percentage. <laughs> Steel. I guess should have Rosa using Prey as well. For MP. Alright, one more steal. Uh batch of swine. Oh, okay. The uh, stuff that causes berserk, I believe. Uh, not bad. It's free. If you can steal it. And Rosa levels up. Good. We'll not complain about her having more levels. <laughs> Please get all the levels you want, Rosa. <laughs> Right down here's a treasure chest, obviously. Attack. 
steal from the balloon. Libra. Balloon. No effect. I like seeing that. Couldn't steal. How shocking. <laughs> Well, Rosa didn't get a chance to cast that. Great! Well, you know it has less than 2,115, was it? <laughs> Hit, attack. Steal! No, of course not. Should do it, uh, especially with the crit. Oh, we got the wine anyway. Great. And Kane levels up. Jeez, this is one really long bridge, and that is not what I want to see as a back attack. Luckily, they're still all going to hit Cecil, because, well, that's what he does. Maybe the balloon won't die, or maybe it will. No, oh, because of the uh, back row. Good. <laughs> it can actually liberate. How much HP does it have? Somewhere around 2,500, because Cecil did 900, did 900 so 2,600-ish. And steal! No, of course not. <laughs> we'll try again. Good steal. didn't get the paralyzation I wanted. That gets rid of the ogre. <laughs> I mean, I it's always worth trying to steal, steal stuff. And to be honest, it's an ability that I don't use as much as I should. It's one of my uh, failings in RPGs. And Cecil levels up. It's one of the weaknesses that I have, and I'm willing to admit it. For as I like to say I'm pretty great at RPGs. Ogre Killer and Enemy Ambush. Uh, one thing I, I don't do enough of is steal when I have a character that can uh, the enemy ambush is three mad ogres. Now, in older versions, this is actually a pretty scary fight. Just because of the amount of uh, enemies, and they could hit your healers, and or hit Rosa, specifically. And they do a lot of damage. In this version, though, if you, if you use the draw attacks on Cecil, though, and especially if he has counter, the threat is much less. You know where the attacks are going to go, so you can just heal Cecil. See, he's starting to run out of uh, HP already, but... Oh, look, Cura. And he's fine. <laughs> so the threat just isn't there for this fight. And I remember this one. I remember this one giving me uh, troubles. Good, now we can pray. Steal. Make sure Edge gets that steal off. Okay. And of course, couldn't steal. <laughs> Good. Level up. 
Level up. Level up. Okay. Inside the treasure chest, you get the ogre, the ogre killer. The blood deals extra damage to giants. Now it acts like it's a bigger dwarven axe. Uh, it has an attack of 90. You lose speed, intellect, and spirit, but you do gain uh, quite a bit of attack power. Since nothing here seems to be weak to ice, I'm going to give this to Cecil for now. Just to show it off and have some fun with it. Of course, I think I'll put the Ice Brain back on for uh, Rubicant when we when we get there. And attack. There we go. You can <laughs> you can see the power. <laughs> and just wait till he hits one of these mad ogres. Counter attack. 3,694. Yes, the Mad Ogres count as giants. It will make short work of them and just about everything. Because Cecil hits hard anyway. And between the counter attack and him just regular attacking, you're going to carve through things pretty quick. Which is nice. <laughs> So make sure to grab that treasure chest. It's pretty hard to miss it, honestly. I mean, it's right there, so it's easy enough to see. Oh, it didn't quite kill the balloon. There it goes. To be honest, this is one of the reasons I don't steal that often, though, is because usually the steal rate in games is really low. And Rosa levels up again. Good. I The steal rate is pretty bad, only a 20% chance, especially when the fights are going pretty quick. Uh, three bomb cranks for completing this map, which is a bigger bomb fragment, I believe. Let me make sure of that. Uh, bomb cr Yeah, cast fear. Where bomb fragment just cast fire. Alright, moving on. I believe this is a save point. Nope. <laughs> may even be the way to go. Don't remember. Back attack! Oh no! Yeah, again, unless the enemy has an attack that hits everything, or hits for a ridiculous amount of damage, I'm not that worried about... about back attacks anymore, just because they're gonna hit Cecil anyway. And take a ton of damage. Oh, miss. Oh, prayer unanswered. <laughs> that draw attacks encounter. <laughs> Edge levels up. Let's see what's this way first. Yeah, treasure chest. Lilith's kiss. Confusion, maybe? No, Osmos. Oh. Okay. Hello! You're new! And maybe dead. Oh good, you're not dead. Storm Anima! Hmm. 
I don't remember that being in the name of any enemy, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, weak to light, I think that is? That's interesting, I don't remember that enemy. Yes, even I, I recognize Balloon. A lot of these names haven't changed or haven't changed much from uh, other versions of the game. And Kane gains a level. Damn it, add even more attack power to his uh, already good attack power. Preemptive strike! Well, <laughs> uh, yes, I will need to take uh, aim off though. Oh, maybe she can aim with a with a staff in this version. Uh, if I remember correctly, she couldn't aim if she didn't have a a bow. But maybe she can in this version. All right, let's move on. Basement four. Let's go left. Dead end. I'm okay with that. Map completion. <laughs> hit, hit. I'm gonna try. Counterattack. Yeah, sure enough, she can. Good. That's neat. That rod looks really interesting too. If you look at the, uh, or staff, it's a staff. The rune staff in Rose's hand. <laughs> I don't know, if, if there was a little more animation to it, I think it'd look really cool. Like if there, if the, uh, blue part of it that's going around the staff was swirling the head of the staff. That'd be really cool, but it just looks awkward <laughs> with no additional animation to it. That's... that's just me. <laughs> we go left. And another fight, but... These are pretty easy at this point. I don't think I ever stole from them, though. Need to do that. Or try to steal from them, I should say. Be easy if we can get a stun, no? Aim! Because I can. Steal. Oh, you're not gonna survive, so never mind. <laughs> level up! Good, two level up. Two characters level up. Look. Oh, right before I open the treasure chest. Come on. Okay. We're going to give Edge a couple of chances to steal here. Lightning arrows! Huh. Interesting enough. Attack. Not even gonna get a chance to steal from the other one. Oh well. Uh, so they have lightning arrows.
Now, I think each enemy only has one thing to steal. Uh, depending on the RPG, sometimes you can steal more than one thing from an enemy. Ah. A Shura. A uh, stronger katana for Edge. There you go. Also gives him plus one speed. Neat. Over the kunai. So now you'll see he'll have the Ashura in one hand and the uh, kunai in the other hand. Alright, now we can explore the rest of Basement 3 because we're just kind of going back and forth between the floors here to move forward. But we're going to start seeing new enemies. Steal from the Mithril Golem. Or again, try to. Libra. Ooh, Bio! And you're going to hit everybody. Steal? No. I gotta wait for the Libra to go off. There we go. Uh, week two. Holy. That makes sense. They're a ghost. You're pretty quick. Don't die on me quite yet. Good. Wow, so he's got like 10k HP. Hey, reflect. Oh, well, that kills that guy. Steal! Stole a tent! So these guys have a tent. That's actually worth trying to steal from. Oh, well, that just may kill you, huh? Yep. So Cecil did almost 4k a hit. He's got close to 12k HP. The Mithril Golem does have some HP behind it, but... Uh, the Ghost Knights, to me, are more more of a threat just because of the spellcasting. The Mithril Golem is just going to hit one person. A, a bit for a fair amount of damage, but still only going to hit one person. Alright. Just explore this down here. Hi! Hi! Steal. Let me a matriarch. And so we saw the Lamias earlier. Now we have the uh, matriarch here, which I believe has more HP. Oh no, no it doesn't. Hmm. May just have some different uh, attacks and things at its, at its disposal. Try to steal again. Why not? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you can see that Edge is, Edge like actually has a katana in his hand now instead of just a kuna in his right hand. Level up. At level forty, Edge learns a new nujutsu, a uh, trimmer, which I don't remember. Well, yeah, I think it was called Quake in older versions. Tremor, attack with earth. So it's a uh, earth attack that hits everybody. It's just like flame, except it's earth elemental. Make sure we explore all of this. And continue. Basement 3 map complete, and we get a Red Fang. Now, let's see. Uh, two different doors. Let's try the left one first. Hey, preemptive strike.
Huh, didn't quite kill it. Jump. Pray. And that'll do it. Rosa's level increased. At level 50, Rosa learns Curaja. Ugh. Don't like saying that. Learns Cure 4. Sorry, 45, not 50. <laughs> 45. Curaja. Restore a very large amount of HP. Uh, again, in older versions, it was just called Cure 4. And in those versions, it was a full restore. It restored all HP. Here, it just says a very large amount. So, I don't know if it still heals all HP or not. But, uh... So, very handy very expensive as you can see it cost 40 mp but mass cure uh, mass throw this on the party and everybody will be healthy everybody will be fine again so a very powerful but very expensive spell here's that save point and right in right on time too we'll save here good and with that i'll end the episode thank you very much for watching Hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun as we continue to climb the tower next time. Some interesting new enemies here, but most of them just hit a single target. If you have draw attacks on Cecil, then it'll be easier because he has a lot of HP and defense anyway. And if you have counter plus draw attacks on Cecil, well, you can see the results. Till the next episode, I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.